Hello everybody, it's good to you. Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we came back from 600 AD for the first time, and we're back in 1000 AD. Hooray! Hooray! And Naya wants us to take her home, so let's take her home. Since she's, of course, royalty, she lives at the castle. Duh. And walking through the forest, completely different enemies in this time period. As you can see, you got these weird, like, toadstool guys and those birds with bells. Anyways, you can see, you can get through this forest every time without having to take a fight. Anyways, we're back! Princess Nadia! Are you alright? Where have you been? I heard you were abducted. We had soldiers searching for you. Um, I'm kinda worried now. Scoundrel, you're the one, huh? Kidnapping Princess Nadia. No, Kronos... Admit it! You, conf <laughs> you confused her and tried to take her th over the throne. Terrorist! Wait, what? S stop it! Oh god. <laughs> this... this is not good. Phew! Stop this at once! I'm not going to be yelled. What are you doing? The Princess Nadia said to... Idiots, detain him! Nope. Let you listen to the court music for a bit. I'm the Chancellor, the Prosecutor. I'm the Lawyer, Pierre. Screw Phoenix right, Pierre. Members of the court, we now bring forth the defendant, Chrono, who is charged with abducting Princess Nadia. What shall we do with him? Fire, perhaps? Hang him upside down for a few years? Or shall we employ the guillotine? You, the jury, shall decide his fate. Now let us begin. Chrono, you are hereby ordered to tell the truth. Chrono is charged with pre premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, did he kidnap Princess Nadia? The answer? No, he did not. In fact, no abduction took place. The two met by completely by accident. In fact, the princess asked Chrono if she could join him. Is it true who actually started this whole mess? Uh, here's kind of another whole thing where it's like, you say one, two different things, so something very minor happens differently. Just say I did. Yeah, because no matter what, he's going to say, hey, you did it, even though you, cause it's, it actually has to do with the game's coding. You technically have to initiate it, because if the prince, if Nadia moves into you, nothing happens. If you move into Nadia, something happens. So, yeah. Technically, it's always you who did it. <clears throat> the princess then innocently followed you to Luca's little slideshow. Slide Whereupon you both disappeared. If that wasn't criminal abduction, I don't know what is. This is why you should just let me leave, Luca. No. And I have facts that throw the defendant's character into question. Objection! This can't have any relevance whatsoever to the case. Care to respond, Chancellor? Corona's character is at the very core of this case. We have nothing to hide. We have a witness, a little girl who will vouch for the character of the defendant. Nice man, you brought me my kitty. Thank you for being so kind. How about that? Doesn't this young man deserve a medal? Whew, looks like they're buying it. The issue here is motive. Was there any motive for this fine citizen to kidnap Princess Nadia? No, there was none. 
What about Ransom? Chrono, her fortune did tempt you, did it not? No, it didn't. Are you sure? You really weren't tempted? Not at all. That's enough. I have no more questions. It is evident that my client is a fine, noble young man. Your Honor, the defense rests. Members of the jury, if he is guilty, stand to the left. If innocent, stand to the right. Not guilty. Guilty. You little... Not guilty. Not guilty. It's definitely possible to get a majority, but I can't remember if it's actually possible to not guilty. Can't remember if it's actually possible to get, uh... Not guilty there. If it's possible to get all not guilties. Anyways, you're gonna see we only have one guilty. Order in the court. A verdict has been reached. The verdict is not guilty. But the fact remains that even if he did not kidnap her, he ran off with her. Three days solitary confinement as punishment. Eh, it's not too bad. I can take that. Take him away! Now just a darn minute. Princess! Oh, the king. That's enough, my dear. But father, all I asked was for you to behave like a princess. Even royalty must obey rules. Leave the rest up to the chancellor and forget about the, the events in town. We're leaving. Very good. Chrono, it's only three days in solitary confinement. Why are you worried? I'll be out in no time. The terrorist has tried to overthrow our kingdom. He has been found guilty, and you must now carry out his sentence. I was found... What? Curse me for being a mute. So this is the monster who kidnapped the princess. The execution is in three days away. Do not let him out of your sight. What? Execution? Strange, but I don't seem to recall hearing anything about an execution. Ha, ah, see, the supervisor's got it right. What? How dare you question me? The paperwork's probably been held up in the system. Aw, oh, you freaking low jerk. Understood, sir. Guards! Take the prisoner away. Now, um, one very derpy thing about this prison that you're gonna soon find out as soon as I can access my menu. Get up, please. Thank you. Yep, look to the sides. We got to keep all of our weapons, all of our items. Uh, we get this little drink that recovers HP and MP. Every time I drink it, I'm thinking, hmm, is that supposed to be beer? Uh, we get this little sack of stuff. Some sympathizers brought that stuff for you. You lousy felon. And it's an ether. I could have sworn it was more than that. Two days until the execution, now. There are multiple things you can actually do to save yourself from this. I am going to save right here. Okay, first thing we can do. We can just completely wait out the days. Uh, pretty much all this video is going to be is me showing the... I think there are only two ways you can get out. So anyways, you just kind of sit here one day until the execution. Yeah, because we, we get out of this situation. Anyways... Da -da -da -da. And finally the day arrived.
We're going to take you to your place of execution. Too bad you left me with my weapons. Come along. Uh, I'm... At least I think you can escape this way. How is it? Yeah, that's how it is. Okay. Anyways... This kind of get taken up. I just completely remember what happened. Now... So we get taken all the way up here. These guys like look at us. Like, yeah. At least I think you sharpened up the guillotine. Any last words? <laughs> Chrono, I've come to save you. Who the heck are you? Get out of my way! Take five, you mucks! <laughs> and she just shoots everyone in here. <laughs> what you think of my Zonker 38. Pretty cool, huh? Let's blow this joint. Um, okay, cool. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's one way you can get out. But, hang on while I reset. Get to see the front screen again, yay. Okay, this time I'm gonna do this. Pipe down. No. Pipe down. Never. Knock it off. Ooh, I'll show him. Open it up. So anyways, this guy, stupidly, opens the door. Knocks the spell all the way back here, comes in our cell. That's what you get for misbehaving. And let's hit the A button really fast and knock him out. Where do you think you're going? Anywhere I please right now, buddy. Because you and your partner are dead. We're breaking out of jail ourselves. Screw Luga, even though she comes in three days and saves us. Let's drink some more of our beer. Anyways, uh, we can open up cells like this. This one, however, doesn't open all the way. We have uh, some jail exploring we have to do in order to open that one. So let's go down here, because I don't want to have to fight those guys yet. Walking across the bridge. Yeah. Anyways, guards. Yes. Uh, anyways, you can, uh, if you aren't spotted by them, you can actually sneak up on them and pet make them pass out and huh maybe it's only occasionally they have them I could have sworn they always had tonics whenever you did that but apparently it's only uh, every so often anyways we got mid tonic here, mid tonic ether and another ether and the guard is completely gone whoa So you're the escaped con. There you go. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Okay, that there we go. Twenty two experience points, one taking point five gold, one ether. Now pay me enough for this. They sure don't. Anyways... I don't like cutting it right about here, but... I feel like this was long enough of an episode, so... I've been ga I'm game crazy, and I'll see you next time in Let's Play Chrono Trigger, where we finish our jailbreak the longer way. Anyways, see you next time. Goodbye.